Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 100 subscribers. I cannot believe that after doing this for merely a month that I would get 100 subscribers this fast. Okay, well, what is there to say? Well, I guess I have to say thank you for all those who subscribed. And well, as a promise, what if Maleficent gave her powers to Deku? Or what if Deku had Maleficent's powers, however you want to put it? I am going to get part one out as soon as possible. Oh, and here's, uh, here's what my dog looks like. Oh my god, Taza, can you believe it? A hundred subscribers. Hey, hey, come here, come here. You got something you want to say to them? I think that I think that's a sign of thanks for subscribing. Yes. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> it's my dog. She's a she's a cocker spaniel mixed with a pit bull. Some people think she's a black lab, but yet. Nope, she's definitely half cocker spaniel. Definitely half pit bull. You want to say goodbye to the people, Taser? That was a goodbye. All right, and I'd like to personally thank all of you for subscribing. And here is the 100 subscriber special video. What if Deku had Maleficent's powers? Whew, and before I start, I just got to thank every single one of you who subscribed to me. Um, I did not think that I was going to get 100 subscribers in such a short amount of time. And you know what? I got to ask, why did why did you guys subscribe to me? I mean, like one per one person mentioned that my stories were really good. One person said that, you know, they really like my voice. But I want to know your reason why. And please leave it down in the comment section below. So. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get down to business on Izuku's soon-to-be powers. So as I mentioned before, he's going to be having Maleficent's powers. So I decided to go for the Maleficent of the 2014 version with Angelina Jolie. It just seemed like a real, like, real good idea at times, and I just wanted to put it wings on Izuku. So his powers will consist of superhuman strength. In this concept, Izuku will be able to lift 10 times his body weight. Like if he wants to lift a car over his head, he can do that. His other power will be a faster healing factor. As long as his head remains on his body, he can, re he can recover from any sort of bodily damage. You name it. Hypnosis. Hypnosis is when he will be able to control somebody's mind and and basically bend their will. <laughs> uh, the ability, he'll have the ability to cure individuals. Any sort of illness that you could think of, he will be able to heal it off of anybody. Plant manipulation. With that power, Izuku will have the ability to manipulate any plant to do what it wants. If he wants a tr if he wants a tree to grab something, that tree will do it. If he if that if he wants that tree to like get big and like attack someone, it can do it. If he wants the tree to take a certain scary form, the tree will be able to do it. Anything. He could even make plants grow really fast, just like in the movies. Object conjuration. <laughs> With this object conjuration ability, he will be able to conjure up any sort of thing that he thinks of. Uh, metamorphosis. Uh, starting at a level, starting at a level two, when Izuku selects uh, this school, he'll use his actions to conjure up an an, an inanimate object in his hand or on the ground in an unpopulated space that you could see within 10 feet of himself. Flight. Now later on in the story, Izuku will have the ability to fly. And you'll, and you'll find out why soon. 
summoning and controlling abilities. With that one, he'll be able to summon like disciples to fight alongside him. It's just, it's just gonna be really cool. And so, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the story. This is What If Deku Had Maleficent's Powers. Yeah, and I almost forgot to mention his weakness will be iron, just like Maleficent's. So, you might want to stay away from Tetsu Tetsu. <laughs> Even though he's actually made of steel. <laughs> the story begins in a mysterious forest known as the Moors. There are trees, rivers, and fairies. Mushroom people to trees that walk like humans. From mermaids that swim in thin air to griffins with large wings and one pure dark fay known as Maleficent sitting in her throne with two tree men guarding her. Maleficent's figure is that of a very old woman with white hair and a withered face. Her eyes are a milky white, while her fingers are about as scrawny as if she was about to turn into dust at any moment. I need a moment alone, said Maleficent. The two tree men then leave the room. She then gets up from her throne and walks to the window, looking out sees the peaceful forest and all of its wonderful creatures. Maleficent closes her eyes and then opens them again with a glowing green eye. A bird flies into the window and lands on a chair. And this bird was clouded by a black smoke turning the bird into a man. It speaks. Yes, mistress. The elder woman continued to look out the window and said, I have lived for thousands of years, dear all. I miss all the people I have come to love. She then turns to Dioval and says, I am ready to meet with death, but I want a piece of me to remain here. She then turns back to the window and says, I need a successor. Dioval, with a sad look on his face, lets a tear hit the ground. In Tokyo, Japan, Maleficent makes her way to a hospital in search of a successor. While she makes her way inside, a few people give the horned woman a look of suspicion, but she continues to make her way down the hall and comes across the nursery filled with infants. Maleficent makes her way inside the room with the newborn babies and quietly locks the door. A nurse sees this and comes up to the glass trying to communicate with the woman on the other side, only for the mysterious woman to ignore her plead. The nurse then grows concerned and runs to go get help while Maleficent looks around for her successor. In room 17, a woman wakes up from her sleep a few minutes after giving birth to her child. The woman, who is still very tired, has a troubled feeling in her stomach and says, something's not right. She gets out of bed and slowly makes her way to the nursery. After a few minutes of looking, Maleficent comes across a child and she senses the good within this one. She reads the name, Izuku Midoriya. She smiles at the infant and says, I choose you. When she said that, a group of people then turned the corner and tried to get the mysterious horned woman away from the babies. They knock on the glass. They try to unlock the door all while trying not to wake the sleeping babies. Maleficent stands on the side of Izuku and raises both of her hands in the air, admitting a green light of flame, admitting a green light that resembles flame, and all of the light in the hospital mysteriously powers off, 
The woman who had just recently given birth gets cl gets scared from the black out and starts to run towards the nursery. Back back there, Maleficent looks up to the shocked crowd of people and says, "Listen, well, all of you. This boy will inherit all of my powers and more." The green light continues to shine around Izuku and Maleficent. The woman made it to the nursery. She looks and sees a woman with her. She looks and sees a woman with horns and both hands in the air emitting a green light that resembles flame. She looks closer and sees that it's her baby she's just recently given birth to. She looks to all the nurses and security guards saying, why are you all just standing there? She has my baby. They all want to speak, but can't because of the fear they get from this mysterious horned woman. The woman then makes her way to the door, tries to open it to get to her baby, but it is locked. She then uses her quirk to force pull off the locking mechanism and manages to get inside. She runs over to the mysterious woman with her baby and grabs her child. As the light then disappears, stop, said the woman, don't hurt my baby. Maleficent then turns to the woman, smiling and says, it's okay. Your boy is going to grow up into something extraordinary. Maleficent then falls to the ground and then turns to dust, leaving her clothes and staff behind. Everyone who had just witnessed this is shocked, but then Izuku begins to cry. His mother then slides down a piece of blanket that was covering him, revealing his cute baby face. The mother begins to cry herself, saying, It's okay. It's okay. Mommy's here. Mommy's got you. Izuku stops crying, opens his eyes, and smiles. Four years have passed, and it, is <laughs> and it is Izuku's birthday. Izuku, being so excited about finding out what his quirk is, can't sit still to even blow out his candles. Slow down, Izuku. I know you're excited, but we still have some time before going to the doctor. Izuku then says, well, while we wait, can I go on the computer? Inko then says, yeah, sure. Inko takes Izuku to the computer to watch all my videos. Jeez, I think you might have added a couple thousand views here yourself, son. The video plays and it shows All Might saving a bunch of people from what it appears to be a fire outbreak. At the end of the video, Izuku said, while in sync with All Might, his one-liner, I am here. Izuku, with excitement, raises his All Might action figure into the air and says, And once I get my quirk, I'm going to be the next number one hero. We then cut to the doctor's office, and Izuku has just received the news that he will not be receiving a quirk. Izuku is devastated. Inko then says, wait, are you sure? Yeah, as you can see here, there's an extra joint in the pinky toe. So it's highly doubt that your son's gonna get any power anytime soon. Izuku continues to sit there in denial. After that was said and done, Inko and Izuku are in the car and is stopped in traffic. While stopped, Inko looks at her son and says, Izuku, it's going to be okay. There are many ways to become a hero. It's not just the quirk that makes the hero after all, son. It's the heart of the person. And I already know you have a big heart, son, and you will be the next big hero. Izuku looks at his mom and smiles, cheering him up, saying, Yeah, you're right. They both smile, but the moment is interrupted by a crashing sound up ahead. There is a massive semi-truck driving in the opposite lane. The person in this driver's seat is wearing 
a white face mask and a red tank top with the body that of a bodybuilder coming straight for Inko and Izuku. Inko tries to drive out of the way, but she is blocked in in all directions. The truck gets closer and closer. Inko then looks at Izuku and looks out his open window. Inko then quickly unbuckles Izuku, gives him a kiss on his forehead, and uses her quirk to float him away before the truck could hit them both. Izuku continues to float to safety. And one look at his mother. And with one last look of a smile and a wave goodbye, Inko dies so that Izuku can live. And that's the end of part one of what if Izuku had Maleficent's powers. I'm really sorry to leave you guys on a cliffhanger like that, but I just feel like the moment calls for it at the moment. So, say, that being said, I'm really glad that I have 100 subscribers, and I'd like to thank you all again for it. And once again, you know, if you subscribe to my channel, please tell me why you did. You know, you may like the story, you may like my voice, I, it's all up to you. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys one more time, and if you made it to the end of this video, consider yourselves hashtag blessed. And I hope you all have a nice day. Goodbye.